Hi, this is Elizabeth Wilson from the Perth Pilates Studio presenting for eFit30. This workout is an intermediate level Pilates workout which is going to run for approximately 30 minutes. Now we're going to have some of our more challenging Pilates repertoire in here including a lot of long lever abdominal work, the classical Pilates rollover and also a lot of challenging work for your lower body and your upper body as well. So what I'm going to ask you to do as you go through this workout is listen to your body. At no stage should you feel any discomfort in any of your joints in your body, so for example your back or your neck. And if you do, just feel free to take breaks, pace yourself through as required. The very first exercise that we're going to do as a warm up, which is the bridging, is an ideal exercise to go back to at any point during the workout when you feel that the exercise that I'm presenting may be a little too challenging for you. So if you need to, in the early stages, pace yourself through appropriately. Remember, if you like today's workout, hit like below this video and subscribe to us at eFit30 to receive all of our future Pilates videos. All right, let's get started. We're going to come down onto your back, lying with your feet just hip width apart and your arms relaxed by the sides. Shoulders fall back heavy into the floor, tailbone is heavy. We take a breath in to prepare and as you breathe out, we sink the tummy, we roll the pelvis back and we're going to peel up through the spine till the weight's resting just between your shoulders. You breathe in at the top and then exhale, top of the spine rolls down, one vertebra first, then the next. Really curling and articulating all the way down through that lower back. And then the tailbone releases heavy at the bottom. Breathe in again, breathe out, sink the tummy, roll the pelvis back. The goal here is to get every little individual vertebra in the spine moving. Breathing in, exhale and roll it down. So as you go, often you'll find you can curl and articulate through the individual vertebra until a certain point, and then there may be a section of the spine that just kind of goes clunk straight down, yeah? That's quite normal when you first start. Release the tailbone down to neutral. As you breathe out, sink the tummy, roll the pelvis back. What I want you to think about is with each individual single repetition, see if you can just get a little more curl happening through the spine. So on the way down, you might just get an extra half a vertebra curling each time. So you're gradually opening up and mobilizing a little more of the spine every time we complete a bridge. We take a breath in again, breathe out, sink the tummy, reach the tailbone up really deep in the belly here. Knees reach long over the toes so you can find a nice sense of stretch through the front of the thighs. The more you keep the top of the hips tipping back and the tailbone reaching up, the better that stretch will be. Inhale there and then exhale, rolling it down through the spine, one vertebra at a time, deep in the belly and release your tailbone heavy. One final repetition here. Exhale, deep in the belly, roll the pelvis back, reach the tailbone up. Again, those knees go long over the toes, breathing in at the top, and exhale and rolling it back down. Okay, now we're going to progress this slightly. So at the bottom again, take a breath in, exhale, sink the tummy, reach the tailbone up towards the ceiling, deep in the belly. Maintain the position there. Stabilize with your left foot so you press that left foot a little into the ground, the hips stay perfectly level, the right leg floats to tabletop. Breathe in, allow that right leg down. Stabilize with the right leg, keep the tailbone reaching up, stabilize across the hips and the left leg floats. Breathe in, allow it back down and exhale, roll down through the spine one vertebra at a time. The shoulders stay heavy back towards the floor. Breathe in again. Breathe out, sink the tummy, roll the pelvis back, reach the tailbone up, really deep in the belly, ribs connect to the hips in front. Press with one foot into the floor, float the other leg to tabletop on the inhale. Exhale, taking it back down. Press with the other foot, inhale, float the leg. Exhale, take it back down. Take a breath in there, deep in the belly, see if you can get the tailbone reaching up just a little more, and then scoot the tummy and roll it back down through the spine. One more repetition here, breathing in. Breathe out, sink the tummy, roll the pelvis back, really deep in the belly as you go. Press with one foot into the floor, float the opposite leg on the inhale. Exhale, take it down, check the hips are still level, reach the tailbone up, stabilize across the pelvis as the other leg floats. And take it back down, pause there, inhale, and exhale, rolling down through the spine, one vertebra at a time, all the way down. 
Okay, from here, open the arms out to the sides, just a little bit below shoulder height. Deep in the belly and float both legs together up to a tabletop position. If you feel like your tummy's doming out, bring the knees just a little closer so you can get a real sink and your knees are all the way together. You're gonna inhale, bring the knees halfway over to the side. Head goes back in the opposite direction. As you exhale, deep in the belly, allow the legs back up to center. Breathe in, take the knees over to the other side, lower tummy up and in. Exhale, deep in the belly, bring it back to center. As you continue from side to side, keep the arms very, very quiet here. The work is all through the tummy, that sense of rotation coming through the waist. Now you can start to challenge the range over just a little more here, so long as you feel like that upper body can stay really quiet. I definitely want the opposite shoulder staying really heavy back in towards the mat. Exhale for the return. Breathe in to take those knees over. We're just gonna do one more repetition each side here, and then that'll have our abs gently warmed up, ready for the harder work that's gonna follow. Inhale, take the knees over. Exhale, deep in the belly to float the legs back to center, and then inhale, take it the other way. All right, bring the legs to center, and we're ready now to take it into slow double leg stretch. Knees come a little closer in, hands on top of the knees. From here, breathe in deep in the belly, and extend the legs, hands by the hips. Maintain the height of the body, don't let your body drop as the arms go around in a circle. Breathe and hold, exhale, take it back down. Just let the head barely rest on the ground and then straight away inhale, reach. Exhale, deep in the belly as you circle the arms. Breathe and hold, exhale, take it back down. And again, inhale, reach. Exhale, circle. Breathe and hold and take it back down. Continue here in your own time along with me. As you circle, check your leg position. The higher the legs are up towards the ceiling, more vertical with the legs, is a little bit easier on the tummy. Lower down is harder. So adjust your position as needed. You wanna find the point where your tummy muscles are working, but they can still keep sinking flat, and there should be no sense of work through the lower back muscles at all. Let's just complete two more repetitions here. So it's inhale to curl, deep in the belly. Exhale to reach. Inhale, hold. Exhale, take it down. And final one, inhale, curl. Exhale, reach. Breathe and hold. Exhale, take it down. Curl the head and shoulders up. Both hands go onto one knee. Other leg extends away from you. Curl a little higher through the body, deep in the belly. Think about pressing that knee away with the hands a little more to help you scoop a little higher. And then as you exhale, switch. And exhale and switch. Now you can either keep both hands going to one knee as we currently are, or you can go into the classical hand position, which is outside hand to ankle. Outside hand to ankle. Deep in the belly. This is single leg stretch. As you continue here, there should be no rock of the pelvis from side to side. The torso itself stays perfectly stable. It's just the arms and the legs that are moving there. See if you can deepen the belly, curl a little higher. Let's just do from here, one more on each side. Reach those toes long and bring the knees in. Rest down for a tiny moment. Fingers now come interlocked, hands behind the head. We curl the head and shoulders back up, deep in the belly. Same movement with the legs, but this time the body rotates to the side. Breathe in, bring it high through center. Exhale, rotate to the other side. Breathe into center, so it's exhale, rotate. Inhale, center, exhale, twist. Again here, you wanna try and find that position where your hips and your pelvis is really, really stable. It's the lower tummy that is zipping up and in. And you wanna think, rather than a sense of opposite elbow towards knee, it's more opposite shoulder towards inner thigh. So you're staying wide across the shoulders the whole time. From here, let's just do one more repetition each side. See if you can deepen the belly, come just a little higher, bring it to center, scoop a little higher, and bring those knees in. Okay, next little exercise is the Pilates rollover. Now again, if you find when you go to start this exercise that you feel a little too stiff to perform it just yet, go back to the bridging that we did at the start of the class instead. As you loosen up, you'll find this exercise becomes more accessible. So legs are tabletop, back of the shoulder, back of the arm, palm of the hand, grounded down into the mat. You inhale, you reach the toes straight to the ceiling. As you exhale, deep in the belly, you peel up and over through the spine till the weight is resting between the shoulders. For today, we're just gonna keep the legs parallel to the floor. 
Inhale, separate the feet, just hip width apart. And let's flex the feet. The toes come back towards you. As you exhale, roll down through the spine, one vertebra at a time, keeping the head heavy and the shoulders heavy back into the mat. Lower the legs just as far as you can with the tummy staying flat. Point the toes, bring them together. Inhale up. And exhale, deepen the belly and peel it over again. Separate the feet hip width apart, toes back towards you. Exhale, roll it down through the spine, one vertebra at a time, shoulders heavy. Sweep the legs together, point the toes, inhale up. Exhale, peel it over. Separate the feet, flex and roll down. Now this time we're going to keep those feet apart. So point the toes, inhale, bring the legs up with those feet apart. Exhale, deepen the belly, peel it over. Bring the legs all the way together, toes back towards you as you exhale and roll it down. Shoulders and head heavy back into the mat. Lower the legs a little bit away, inhale apart, exhale, deepen the belly to peel it over. Bring the legs together, toes back towards you, exhale, roll it down. Scooping through the tummy, shoulders heavy, once more, inhale apart, exhale over, deepen the belly. Legs come together, breathing in, toes back towards you and exhale. Roll it down through the spine, one vertebra at a time. Well done. Bend the knees into the chest, hands behind the thighs, take a breath in. As you exhale, float the head and shoulders deep in the belly. Let's articulate all the way up through the spine. Now you want to have enough room in front of you on the mat that the legs can go straight out in front. From here, reach the arms forward, grow really tall. Take a breath in. As you breathe out, you slide the gaze down, you slide the tailbone under. So you really want to think of lengthening through the front of the hips so that you can roll the pelvis under and get the back of the pelvis down to the mat and then one vertebra, then the next. From here, keep your ribs heavy as the arms reach back overhead. So the arms only go as far as you can without the ribs popping. Keep this connected down. From here, breathe in, float the head, look towards the toes. Exhale, deep in the belly, scoop the tummy, round the body forward. Think about the lower belly pulling back through the spine as the fingertips reach forward. Inhale, restack it up tall, grow. Exhale, slide the gaze down, slide the tailbone under, deep in the belly. Lengthen through the front of the hips and allow the arms back overhead. Breathe in again, float the head, look towards the toes. Exhale, deep in the belly, scoop that lower tummy in, round the body forward. And then restack it up tall. Breathe in again. Breathe out, slide the gaze down. Lengthen through those muscles, through the front of the hips. Elongate, arms overhead. Breathe in, float the head and shoulders, look towards the toes. Exhale, deep in the belly, scoot the tummy, round the body forward. Co, 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 in on yourself. We're just going to do two more repetitions here. Stack tall, exhale, use the gaze, slide the gaze down, deep in the belly, connect through the core. Arms back overhead, float the head and shoulders, strong and smooth as you peel all the way forward, lower belly pulls back through the spine. Stack it tall, final one down and up, we're going to make it perfect. So slide the gaze down, slide the tailbone under, lengthen through the front of the thighs, deep in the belly. Inhale, float the head and shoulders, deep in the belly, scoop and curl, lower tummy keeps pulling back through the spine, round the body forward and stack it up tall. All right, come a little forward on your mat now. Knees are bent, feet in close towards you. One hand holds onto the opposite wrist. We're going to take it into a little rolling like a ball and then progress it from there. So from here we take a breath in and then slide the gaze down, slide the tailbone under. Exhale to roll back. Inhale to come up and find a little balance point with the feet just off the ground. Try that again. Inhale, scoop the tummy. Roll it back. Exhale to return. And again, deep in the belly, scoop the tummy, roll it back. Make sure each time you roll back, the gaze goes down towards the lower belly. Keep the lower tummy scooping up and in even more. And final repetition here, deep in the belly. And hold it here and pause. Now, we're going to take hold of your ankles. You can hold lower on the leg if that is easier for you in terms of hamstring length as we go here. Maintain your little balance position here, and we're just going to extend one leg up towards straight, so it may or may not go fully straight. Bend that leg in, and then extend the other leg. Now, as you go here, the leg is extending out roughly in line with my shoulder. So they're not really close together, nor are they really wide apart. Lengthen the other leg up. Bend it in. We're just finding that balance position really strong and stable through the body. Bringing it down. From here, maintain that position. Both legs lengthen up. Maintain the balance. 
bend it back down. One more, take a breath in. Exhale, lengthen the legs, strong through the center. And bring it down. From there, we're gonna progress into open leg rocket. So just have a little play with this one. From here, the legs lengthen up. You take a breath in, exhale, scoot the tummy, roll the body back. You come back up and at the top, on an next repetition, we're gonna find a balance position. So lengthen the legs up, take a breath in, exhale, scoop and roll. And coming up and find the balance with the legs remaining long. Let's try that again. Slide the gaze down deep in the belly, roll it back. Come up and find the balance. And one more, slide the gaze down deep in the belly, roll it back. And release. Well done. Okay, from here, sitting back a little on the mat, the feet come slightly apart, growing up tall through the spine. The arms reach forward in line with the shoulders. You take a breath in, exhale, nod the chin to the chest, reach the arms forward into our spine stretch. The lower belly draws back through the spine. Now from here on the inhale, we're gonna to start to extend the spine, reach the arms up past the ears. So you're reaching forward to a long diagonal line through the body. Exhale, round the body forward and restack it back up tall. Breathe in again, grow. Exhale, nod, chinch the chest. Reach the hands forward, draw the belly back through the spine. Inhale, extend the arms, reach the arms up past the ears. Exhale, roll the body forward and restack. One more. Exhale, nod, chin to the chest, reach those hands forward. Breathe and extend the spine, lengthen and lift. And round the body forward and restack. Grow a little taller here, open the arms out to the side into spine twist. Take a breath in, exhale, rotate, looking back towards the back hand. Breathe in, bring it to center, exhale and rotate the other way. Breathe into center. Each time you turn, think of corkscrewing a little taller through the spine. And you want to stay very central as you rotate here. So if you can imagine you're rotating around the central axis of the spine, you want to be rotating around that central axis, not sliding off to one side or the other. Breathe in, bring to center, now straight into saw. Exhale, reaching forward, chopping off the lower leg or the little toe, look back towards the back hand. Breathe in, bring it up tall. Exhale to the other side, reach and rotate. Breathe in tall. Exhale, draw the belly back through the spine and grow. And again, exhale, reach and grow. Two more each side here. On the next one, the last one to each side, we're gonna take it and hold. So rotate, the hand comes to the outside of the leg, take a breath in. As you exhale, you press with this hand against the leg to rotate yourself around just a little further, really reach the back hand back. And then stack it up tall, inhale. Exhale, rotate, wrap and reach, breathe in there. Exhale, press with the hand, see if you can rotate around a little further, deep in the belly a little. And then stacking it up tall. Okay, release the arms down and lie down onto your side. For today, we're gonna to have both legs long. Bottom arm is extended. I want you to imagine your hips are stacked directly one on top of the other, shoulders likewise stacked. It's as though you're sandwiched between two panes of glass. Your body can't move forward or back. Hand is gonna be lightly on the ground in front of you and you're just gonna float that top leg up and allow it back down. So in our first little repetitions here, we're just trying to find that perfect alignment and balance through the body, where there's no rock or shift or movement through the body at all. Everything just perfectly still and stable. Nothing but the leg is moving. Let's go for four more repetitions here. At any point, if you want to challenge yourself a little more, rather than having the hand on the ground in front of you for some balance, you can have the arm extended up towards the ceiling. You choose. Next variation, take the leg up and hold it there. Little circles, about the size of a bread and butter plate, for 10, 9, try and keep the body stable, 7, 6, deep in the belly, 4, 3, 2, now we reverse it, circle it back, 10, 9, 8, 7, keep the tummy connected, 5, 4, 3, 2, last one, and lower the leg down. Now we float the top leg. Bottom leg comes up to meet it. Try and connect those heels in towards each other. Lower both legs down. So it's top leg, bottom leg, and lower. Now remember again here, you can either have the hand very lightly resting on the ground in front for you, just for a tiny bit of balance there. Make sure you don't have the death grip on the floor, of course. Or the other option would be that top arm reaching straight up to the ceiling. Your choice. Choose what feels right for you at the moment. You want to really keep a sense of length through the lower back. So it's ribs connected to hips in the front of the body. 
really deep in that belly. Let's do two more repetitions here. And then the next variation, we're going to take both legs up together. So keep them super glued together deep in the belly and float. That's it. Again, straight up, no rotation forward or back. Really watch that top hip. People tend to like to rotate back on that top hip. So don't allow yourself to do it. Keep the lower tummy zipping up and in. Check the hand is really light on the floor. And check that you're very, very relaxed in the upper body. You only want to float the legs as far as you can without that upper body tensing. One more repetition. Okay, lower it down, well done. From here, bring the legs up, let's swing them round to the other side. Bottom arm is extended, and again, refine that position with everything stacked. Hips stacked, one on top of the other, and shoulders stacked. Hand is light on the ground in front of you, length through the spine. Float the top leg up. Remember, if you want to progress a little bit, you can have that top arm reaching up to the ceiling. Your choice, choose your position. Remember, if you start off with the arm up, you can take the hand down to the ground at any time as we progress through the variations if you need to. Just a couple more repetitions here. Keep thinking of the lower tummy really sinking in flat to the spine. Float the leg up now. Hold it there, little circles for 10, 9. Find the stability through the body. 6, 5, good. 4, deep in the belly. 2, now we reverse it. Press it back for 10, 9. Eight, seven, reach the leg a little longer. Five, four, three, two, last one, and lower it down. Top leg floats, bottom leg up to meet it, both legs lower together. Again, top leg, bottom leg, and lower. That's it. So you're gonna feel the work here in the tummy, in the core, and also in the muscles in the side of the hips. But particularly on this variation where we're starting to add in the lift at the bottom leg, you can also think about the inner thighs on the bottom leg working to lift that leg up, okay? So inner thigh lifts, that's it. Again, check in on the range with the legs, only floating them up as far as you can without the upper body trying to get involved in on the act. So if you need to keep it a bit smaller to keep tension out of the upper body, then do so. Now both legs together, bottom leg presses the top leg up. Keep the lower tummy connected up and in. Keep thinking of that little sense of length through the lower back. If you start to feel any of the work heading towards the lower back, bring your feet a little bit further forward of you. That will help you keep length in the lower back and help keep you the work in the right muscles, in the tummy, in the side of the hips, instead of in the back muscles. Just a few more repetitions here. Lower tummy up and in. Really emphasize that lift each time. Two more. Last one, lift and lowering it down. Well done. Okay, rolling over onto our tummies. Straight into swan one. So lying flat down, hands back by the shoulders. As with all of our back extension work, always just choose the range where you can feel uh, support through the lower back. So there's no compression or sense of overwork through there. If you notice any overwork, then just reduce your range. Take a breath in to prepare. Breathe out, slide the nose forward and up, roll the collarbones over the shoulders, lift the chest. Once you're lifted through the mid to upper back, press with the hands, lengthen up as far as feels appropriate for you. Inhale there, stretch out from the base of the spine. So you're trying to draw the hands back towards you along the mat. So the top of the head reaches away towards the opposite wall. By the time you come down, you're feeling even taller than you were before you started the movement. Breathe in again. Breathe out. Slide the nose forward and up. Roll the collarbones back over the shoulders. Lift the chest. Press with the hands. Lengthen and lift. Breathing in there. Exhale. Stretch it out and lower it down. You're aiming here to eventually feel a sense of stretch and length through the front of the body as opposed to compression through the back of the body. Breastbone forward and up. Press with the hands. And that's where if you just gradually build up to coming up to this range where the arms go fully straight, you'll find you can over time build up the strength in the core that will support the back as you go into extension. And also the mobility in the upper back that allows you to get this full range without the lower back taking all the load and all the movement. Let's do two more repetitions here, breathing in. Breathe out, slide the nose forward and up, roll the collarbones back over the shoulders, press with the hands, lengthen and lift through the chest. Stretch it out from the base of the spine and lowering it down. Final one, breathing in. Breathe out, slide the nose forward and up, roll the collarbones back over the shoulders and press. Inhale there and lengthen out to lower it down. 
So that's swan one. From swan one, we're going to take it into swan two, just for a little fun today. So we take a breath in, breathe out, slide the nose forward and up, roll the collarbones back over the shoulders. Now for swan two, we keep this same shape through the body the whole way through. You're going to exhale as you rock forward, lifting the legs. So it's a rock and press up. Rock and press up. You'll find on the breath, well, the breath is kind of forced upon you on this one. You'll have to exhale as you're rocking forward. So that's what we're after. Make sure you keep the gaze up. Don't let the head drop down. We don't want your nose contacting the mat. That's not such a good thing. Two more repetitions here. Lift strong from the back of the thighs and lengthen out and lower the body down. All right. We're going to go for a little swim now. Reach your arms out overhead. Hands are slightly wider than shoulder width apart. Check your legs are just parallel. From here, zip the lower tummy up. See if you can find a little sense of length in the lower back. Maintain that position. We start nice and easy. It's one arm and the opposite leg floating long enough off the ground. Then they come down and we transition to the other side, reaching long. Let's just try a couple of repetitions here on each side, alternating sides. What I want you to focus on is a sense of stability across the body. So there's no rock or rotation of the body from side to side as you go. As always on our back extension work, we want to keep a sense of length through the lower back. Now from here, we're going to pick up the pace a little. One arm and the opposite leg. And then it's a little change and change and change. And here as you continue, again, you're really focused in on checking that there's no sense of rock from side to side. Okay, lower the arms and legs down, full swimming. Keep the length through the lower back, float the legs, float the chest and the arms. Find a long position through the spine here. And then little flutters with the hands and little kicks with the legs. Long, slow, steady breath. Keep the back of the neck long, keep the fingertips reaching long, the toes reaching long in the opposite direction. Stability across the body from side to side. See if you can lift the legs a little higher. Hold there now, maintain the position. Reach toes longer, fingers longer, and lower the body down. Bring the hands back to the shoulders, press with the hands, and sitting back towards those heels. Reach the fingertips forward along the mat. Think of your backside pressing down towards the heels. We're going to walk the hands over to one side of the mat here. So let's walk the hands over to the left. You're going to get a stretch through the right hand side of the body. Right pinky finger reaches away from the right sitting bone. Hold and breathe. Just to allow those back muscles a little chance to lengthen and release. And then just walk the hands over to the other side. Taking the hands over to the right, left pinky finger reaches away from that left sitting bone. Breathing into the left hand side of the back and the rib cage. And with each exhalation, allowing the weight of the body to sink a little heavier down towards the floor. You can even give your head a gentle little rock here and just check the neck muscles are feeling very, very loose and relaxed. Let's walk the hands back to centre now. Scoot the tummy and roll it up from the base of the spine. Okay, from here we're going to take it into some upper body work. Come a little forward on your mat. You want your hands directly under shoulders, knees directly under hips. Check your elbows are slightly soft, so inner angles of the elbows look directly towards each other instead of hyperextending and looking forward. Press the floor gently away from you with your hands and you're going to take one leg back to a plank position, a push-up position. As you take a breath in, exhale and take the other leg out. Hold that position. Inhale, tailbone reaches up towards the ceiling. Heels descend a little towards the floor into our inverted V. From there, exhale, bring yourself forward into that strong push-up position. Long line from head to heel. Inhale, tailbone to the ceiling. Heels descend towards the floor. Find the stretch, push the floor away from you with your hands. Exhale, bring the body forward. Let's do one more here. Inhale, tailbone up to the ceiling, heels descend towards the floor. Exhale forward and hold. Leg pull front, maintain this position. Take a breath in as you exhale, float one leg off the floor. Inhale, take it down. Exhale, the other leg. Inhale, take it down. Continue alternating from side to side. You only want to lift the leg as high as you can without any sense of drop 
or tip into the lower back. One more repetition here, hold the position. Inhale, tailbone to the ceiling, press the body weight back. Rise up onto the toes, bend both knees, and you're gonna look forward and jump your feet forward towards the hands. From there, we sit back onto the backside and extend the legs out in front. Now, position here for leg pull is with the fingertips a couple of inches back from the backside. If you feel tight through the shoulders, some people are more comfortable with the hands a little turned out to the side, so modify if you need to. Keep your legs together, inner thighs engaged. Take a breath in, exhale, press with the hands and press the hips up, coming to a long line through the front of the body. And then lowering it back down, inhale. Exhale again, strong press through the arms. Check your elbows stay slightly soft. It's very easy to lock them out here. Don't allow that to happen. And then inhale to lower. Once more, exhale, press the hips up and hold. And breathe in to lower. Now, depending on how you're feeling, you can either stay with this prep or if you want to progress it into the full leg pull, follow along with me now. Take a breath in, exhale, press the hips up and hold it there. From there, inhale, one leg comes up, exhale, lower down. Stabilize across the hips so there's no rock or shift in the hips and pelvis as you alternate from one side to the other. You want to keep that little scoop in through the lower tummy the whole time. Maintain the height of the hips the whole time. One more here. Lower the leg down. Lower the hips. Well done. From here, let's sweep our legs back behind us. And we're going to finish off with a little stretch for through the front of the hips. So one foot comes well forward. One knee, well back. Press the back hip forward and lift the chest ever so slightly. And you should get a strong but still comfortable stretch through the front of that hip. Now we're going to hold this little pre-stretch for a little moment before we intensify the stretch. So from here to progress, tuck the toes under on the back leg, keep the hips low, allow the back knee to reach up off the floor, really trying to actively straighten that back leg as much as you can. Keep thinking of the front, the back hip, sorry, pressing forward, and then the chest just ever so slightly lifting up. So you're lengthening through the front of the body. And hold and breathe. Release that leg down, and let's swap legs. Take your right leg back, take your left leg forward. Press the back hip forward, lift the chest ever so slightly. With this front foot, check your positioning. You want the ankle pretty much directly under the knee or maybe just slightly forward of it. You don't want the foot too far back towards you. Keep pressing the back hip forward, lift the chest ever so slightly. And we'll hold just for a few more seconds on this stretch here. And then to progress, tuck the toes under on the back leg. Keep the hips low and lengthen that back knee. You're trying to actively straighten out behind the knee. Hold the position there, lengthen the leg. Breastbone forward and up, and breathe. You want to allow any unnecessary tension just to drain and release out of the upper body. Allow the back knee to lower down towards the floor, sitting back once more into your rest position. Knees together, arms stretched forward, head hangs down heavy. Let the weight of the entire body just relax and release down to the floor. Give the head a little rock side to side. Check the neck muscles are very loose and relaxed. Soften the muscles of the face, the jaw, the throat, and just breathe. And then in your own time, roll the pelvis under and re-stack up from the base of the spine. Very well done. You've just completed your intermediate Pilates mat workout. If you enjoyed the class, please, once again, hit like below this video. Subscribe to us at eFit30 to find all of our latest classes as they come out. And also come visit me online at perthpilatesstudio.com. I'll look forward to seeing you again soon. Thank you. Mm -hmm.